I am so pleased and honored today to be standing in front of the monument of Eleanor Roosevelt, a stalwart, a woman who committed herself to civil rights, human rights, labor rights, women's rights, and the international rights of all human beings. I stand here in June, a few days away from the death of my closest and dearest friend, Medgar Wiley Evers, and Field Secretary for NAACP for the state of Mississippi, who was assassinated June 12, 1963. I stand here remembering my, some of my last work with Medgar, and that was with Eleanor Roosevelt. Reverend R. L. T. Smith was running for Congress in Mississippi, a black man, the first time since Reconstruction. And he merely wanted to appear on public television and that was disallowed in my home state of Mississippi. The segregation in Mississippi meant segregation in all areas, and blacks were not allowed to appear on TV. Eleanor Roosevelt stepped on the scene a year before her death. Mrs. Roosevelt called on the federal communication industry and demanded that R.L.T. Smith appear on television, and of course he did. And black people in Mississippi will honor her and love her for that and much more uh, for as long as we shall live. I'm making it official that I'm running for the U.S. Senate from the state of New York. I made this decision after much thought and contemplation. I make this decision because I'm deeply concerned about what the future holds for my children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. We live in a time when all about us disaster springs up threatening the lives, land, and planet. We live in a time when hope is dashed and destroyed by economic recessions, wars, and rumors of war, threatens the very planet from human waste and carelessness. We live in a time when humans settle their differences with bombs that shatter lives, homes, and land. Forests disappear before our eyes. Rivers and streams which were once resplendent with fish and all manner of life are poisoned. We live in an hour when planted earth, our only home, is threatened with death. We ask why we can sit back and criticize what, are not, what others are not doing to meet this urgent challenge. Or we can take our place as adult citizens, ready, willing, and able to meet the challenges head on. When you see a thing that is not working, Fix it. There are an abundance of issues that need fixing. Immigration needs fixing. Education needs fixing. Housing needs fixing. Energy needs fixing. Employment sector and the critical infrastructure for town, city, and, and, and rural need fixing. The farm sector of the economy needs urgent assistance. As Senator from New York, I will take on all these issues but I propose to tackle the issue of failed education first. Failed education in New York State by proposing legislation designed to promote democratization of our colleges. Every student in New York and the nation must have a right to four years of college without fee. Public colleges must provide full access. Every student in the medical profession, doctors and nurses and related degrees must have access to complete degrees without incurring debt. America should not have to turn to a small nation like Cuba or, or import doctors from Asia. It's an embarrassment. We must grow our own. Outstanding student loans accrued for the first four years of a college education must be canceled. As Senator from New York State, I will work to find the money required to finance the cost of removing this student loan debt for New Yorkers and the nation. How do we make education affordable for all? We can begin by immediately withdrawing from Iraq, Afghanistan, and in these wars will return to the national treasure more than $800 billion annually for use in funding our domestic priorities in the areas of education, housing, health, and critical infrastructure. I will fight with my heart and soul to restore the $500 million lost by New York public schools, which will result in at least 4,400 teachers being laid off and thousands of other teachers and employees lost through attrition. I love the wind. The cutting of student metro cards threatens to deny tens of to, to, the cutting of student metro cards threatens to not deny tens of thousands of students in New York City access to school. 
This would be disastrous for children and their families in New York City. I find this entirely unacceptable. I will lobby every area of Congress and quest for funds to cover the cost of student transportation in New York City. I'm pushing for education because I believe in my heart of hearts that education is a vital national security issue. An ignorant population is a threat to any state. Education is a national security issue. When visiting the Eleanor Roosevelt Historic Estate at Val Kill, New York, I was particularly fascinated by a statement from the great lady. Ms. Roosevelt said of her role as wife of the President of the United States, I invented Mrs. Roosevelt. I invented myself. In that spirit of creativity, I invent myself, Coley Clark, Senator from New York State. All right.